or round two this week, and we were at two matches involving winning teams from last week. In the program, the replay of last year's grand final between Essendon and Hawthorne, and the Bombers have found a youngster to revive the days of John Coleman. Paul Salmon gives a thrilling display of high marking. And Geelong against Footscray, Mark Jackson now at his fourth VFL club. The Clown Prince is drawing them in at Geelong and playing good football too. And a further highlight, we speak to last year's Premiership captain Lee Matthews, the man with the task of leading Hawthorne to successive Premierships, something which the Hawks have never done before. Well, we start with the rematch of last year's grand finalists. On the last Saturday of September last year, it was a mismatch. Hawthorne beat Essendon by 83 points, a record grand final margin. Well, the soul-searching at Essendon in the off-season promised a stiffer contest this time, with revenge being the main motivation after that humiliation. At half-time, Essendon led by 10 points. The game was hard, but had no spite, as some thought it might. We pick it up nine minutes into the third quarter, and with me, Doug Hayward, and our new commentator, dual premiership captain, Mike Fitzpatrick. My word, that was quick by Curran. I think that was a very poor decision by the umpire. Uh, Bahatia certainly ducked his head and uh, didn't deserve the free kick. Ezard out wide to Bradbury. Support from Danaher. Bradbury's kick long in the direction of Merritt. Ball still in play. Chance for Schwab. Tackled by Danaher, but play on. Away goes Polkinghorn. Inboard to Curran. Shrugs off Bradbury, short passes, and wide out on the wing, Brerett. Oh, word Curran's a long way out of position. He's down at centre-half back as he took that. Oh, an awkward part to Ayers. Cleverly out to Wallace's great football. Wallace is in there, long one to Green. Green kicks long and sends a beautiful kick goalward and rams it. Sorry, Hawthorne's approach the goal is far quicker. Madden wins to Merritt. Couldn't get the handball clear. The umpire said he threw it. O'Halloran's free. Well, that looked tough too. Mm. Pops it over the top. Danger. McCarthy. Crash. Hawker arriving late. McCarthy finds Schwab. Had to stretch for it. He's in trouble. Gets clear. Short passing, and gee, they're getting clear now, Hawthorne, and there's John Kennedy, a defender, way up on the forward line. They're not really... Well, they're making progress slowly at the moment, a bit zigzaggy. Swab lost a great opportunity to hand pass quickly, but Kennedy will put this one right to the teeth of goal. Simon Madden up like a bird. <laughs> up like a bird. Out wide it comes. Downfield, over the head of Bradbury. Dipper Domenico almost took a good one. Crawls after it. One hand up. Out to Mew. That wasn't bad. Van der Haar thumps it straight to Bradbury. Bradbury steadies and sends it to Bahadja. Bahadja in trouble and fumbles it very badly. Picked up there by O'Halloran. O'Halloran, good pass to Wallace. Wallace steadies and boots them into forward line again. All Hawthorne. It spills to Langford. He gets clear. Drives for goal. It's just missing. Breeze taking it away. Oh, it's a goal! Oh, I couldn't see it from here. It but... uh, did look a bit dubious. Up they go again. Madden, Green, ooh, took it away beautifully. Left foot to downfield. Langford, great mark. That was splendidly done. After kicking a, a long goal that uh, must have just squeezed through by a coat of paint. But that was a very, very strong mark by Langford. Well, let's see if Chris Langford can kick this one, which is a much easier one. He's about 45 metres out. Directly in front. <coughs> Fine kick. Off direction this time. 